stole that from me. Kill that from me! People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Here we go. Hello there. This is the professor at Bleecker Street Comics, and you are watching To Slab or Not To Slab. Today, we will be discussing Teen Titans Annual Number 2, first appearance of Vigilante, made popular to the public by the wonderful TV series Peacemaker. Buy that for a dollar. This particular copy is, of course, signed by the late, great George Perez. To slab, to slab. What up from Kansas City on a lovely, lovely morning to slab or not to slab. New Teen Titans annual number two. We got three first appearances in this bad boy. The big one being Vigilante, who was big in Peacemaker. I really enjoyed the character. Uh, but the big reason to go ahead and send this one into CBCS and get it verified is George Perez, the late, great George Perez. So as far as the movies and the TV shows, I don't know if the first appearances are worth it to slab it. But I do know that George Perez is worth it. So go ahead, send that one in, get it verified, and definitely slap this one. What do you want? Take one goddamn guess. <laughs> It was messier than I anticipated. It's still a special day. Welcome to Bleecker Street Comics. You're watching Slab or Not to Slab. I'm Tricky Trapster. You guys already know me. I get drunk on YouTube, be obnoxious, and I draw comic book content for the community and for myself. Today on Slab or Not to Slab, we're talking about New Teen Titans Annual Number 2. This is the first costume appearance of the man's vigilante, and maybe the first real significant uh, appearance of the character as well. Um... You guys uh, recognize him in the show uh, Peacemaker, um, which I feel like they did a fine job with the character. He's funny. Uh, he's crazy. He's cool. The suit is uh, more tactical, but kind of a good homage to the the suit in the comics, which I prefer that retro, uh, clean look that he has in the comics, and I like that he's a little taller in the comics. Uh, and he's a little more serious in the comics. As far as the way they've taken him in the show and what they're likely to do with him in the future, I don't see this character exploding in any type of way as far as popularity goes or true like market so like a substantial market jump as far as the value is concerned. Uh, so I will say that if Vigilante is in your top 10 favorite characters, uh, sure, you should definitely slab this book, have it on your wall, put it with your other slabs because you owe him that being him being one of your faves but if if he's not in your top 10 favorite characters i think this book would look just fine in a double bagged and boarded maybe in a mile or maybe in a top loader up on the wall or displayed in your rooms or houses um so you know unless you go the egs route and you want to theme uh those retro colors which would look really sick i vote not to slab this first costume appearance of vigilante um just display it it's cool the way it is. Take your shot, fun boy. You got me, dead bang. You seriously fucked up? What you looking at me? Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. It's a chopper, baby. Whose chopper is this? Zed's. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. There you have it. Two different opinions 
from fantastic members in this community. Tricky Trapster, we salute you. And Sir Cam Stances, we salute you, my friend. As always, you will be able to find their information in the description of this video. As for us here at Bleecker Street Comics, we will indeed be slabbing this book. Signed by George Perez, plus the first appearance of Vigilante. In great condition. Excellent. Crush your enemies. See them driven before you. And they hear the lamentation of the women. That is good. <laughs>